before you let it be a sweet smelling aroma before you let it be pleasing to you lord jesus receive it receive it thank you jesus thank you lord oh thank you jesus we worship Christ, the Lord. We worship Christ, the Lord. And this morning we lift our hands to Him. Today we worship Christ the Lord. We worship Christ the Lord. We worship Christ the Lord. We worship Lord, you are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. Lord, we worship.
accept you forever, Lord, we magnify your name, hey. Lord, we worship you forever, Lord, we magnify your name, Lord, we worship you.
Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Awesome. Awesome.
Bible says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has what? Praise the Lord. The Lord. Amen. See you 
Greetings to our pastor, Apostle Glenn Makam, and Pastor Mama Dumi, and all the pastors with their beautiful wives, and the church at large. Amen. Amen. And most importantly, everyone that is visiting us for the very first time, I greet you all. Amen. Happy Youth Month, everyone. So I am here to give you a few reminders. Tomorrow we are praying. Come and join us in the power hour. We start exactly at half past six to half past seven. Please be on time. Don't forget to bring a friend or a colleague with. Everyone is welcomed. We also continue on Wednesday with our Wisdom for Life classes. Come and learn and be blessed. And we kindly ask you to please switch off your cell phones or put them on flight mode. Do not use them to record any part of the service, and if you do not have your physical Bible with, do not worry, all our verses will be projected on the screens. All our Sunday services are recorded. You can place your orders after the service at the media desk. We have them in CDs, DVDs, and soft copies. We are also live streaming our Sunday services on our social media platforms. On Facebook, we are Faith Tabernacle Family. On Instagram, we are at Apostle Glenn Magam. Please don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment, for this is a form of evangelism. Water is available at only 10 rands per bottle, and water is only two. Amen. We kindly ask you to please do not order water once the man of God ascends the pulpit. For offering, we also have an EFT option. If you do not have the banking details, you are most welcome to come and request them at the office. Always remember to use your membership number or your name, followed by the reference of whether it's an offering, building fund, or a tithe for recording purposes. Housekeeping rules? Please do not chew gum during the service. <laughs> and by now, I hope all your cell phones are switched off or placed by or put on flight mode. Now let us welcome the poem and immediately the ashes can collect offering. Thank you. I'd like to greet the angel of the house, my father, Apostle Glenn Makam, and my mother, Mama Dumi Makam, and the pastors, their beautiful wives, the elders, and the church at large be greeted in our wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. Today, my name is Balisa, and I'm going to present to you a poem about youth freedom.
national liberty. They used to run right after hearing the sirens and the police shooting out irons. All they wanted was freedom in education, peace of mind and heart, not frustration nor oppression. The class of 1976 walked up to the police holding hands together. Though the police had guns, they never had fear. Innocent black lives taken by wicked people, others strangled and beaten up against their will, and many were sent to prison just because they wanted liberation. There were sounds and screams and exploding sounds heard from everywhere. A rubber bullet was all to bear. Cut to today's youth. Young lives bound to have a bright future, put to great risk. And there's a huge dark cloud looming over our youth, and hell is overflowing. There's rebellious behavior, teenage pregnancy, stealing, there's stealing, there's killing, and there's substance abusing. Well, I say this is not us. Why do we keep allowing the enemy to take what is not his? Why do we keep allowing to take our future? Why do we keep allowing the devil to take our hearts, our futures, and our minds, and everything that we have in us to put the bright picture up that we can say that this is our future and it is very bright. The saddest of all is death. I say a child should laugh and play and sing, not to listen to the death knell ring. Death is such a heartless thing to steal a life of a child. Heart of a mother yet so happy for the, new, for the birth of a new human into the world, yet death swoops in. Today I say so, salvation is the only source of freedom and Jesus is the only redeemer, the savior and deliverer. The youth should not let anyone look down on them because they are young, but set example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith and in purity. Thank you. Well, I go by the name of Stelisutle Chanel Zimu. Greet you, Daddy. Greet you, Mommy. Greet you, all the pastors with their lovely wives and the church at large. I'm also here to present a poem about the youth. The strength within us. 46 years ago, they had enough strength to fight for what they felt was right, but had, in, but had an encounter with bullets and death. At the end of everything, the pain, injury, death, and suppression, their voices were heard. How could we possibly be a threat and a solution in this current situation? Drugs and alcohol are sold to us to distract, to distract us from our purposes. Our leaders, parents, are the ones who drink and encourage such behavior. I'm not saying it's all parents and leaders, but we can come to the conclusion that 80% of people do that. Children now take their lives because of mental illnesses such as depression and anxiety. Yet we feel as though we have no one, we have no one to express our feelings to. Most of your children feel abandoned because you hardly make time for them. In Proverbs 22 verse 6, it says, Start children off the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not depart from it. But if parents are the ones misleading us, how do we regain our strength? Where do we go from there? When do we not get clarity on where to recharge our strength and regain our strength? Because we don't have enough information on how to get strength in that situation, we follow the wind's direction in which the wind blows. We perish and we fade away without leaving a mark. We lose our purpose along the way as we compete with friends that sway our focus away. After a while, we realize that it's useless to, to compete with one another and we came together to help each other. As it says in Proverbs 27 verse 10, do not forsake your friend or family and do not go to your relatives when you have a disaster, but go to a neighbor nearby you. It has never been better than us helping each other because we can share our experiences and help each other grow. As parents are mostly failing us, we have decided to learn our way by helping each other, where we can refuel ourselves, power and strength. The most important source of everything is Jesus, and there is no one better than him, because in him we are full. Jesus, this is the future of this church, Bazalane. Amen. And God will build His church through them. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to sing a song now that says, Build Your Church. 
at a time like this, we need God to intervene and build his own church. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. On Christ alone, yeah. our chief cornerstone, yeah. no other foundation can be built upon, not philosophy Hallelujah. or the wisdom of man. All the ground is sinking sand upon this upon this rock you build your, you build church, your church and the gates and the gates of hell will not prevail when we bind and when lose we bind and we Proclaim your and in Jesus' name, and in Jesus' name, we will not fail. Crucified, yeah. raised up from the dead, let captivity captive, it is finished. Oh, he gave us the keys, his authority. Now we are joined ears to the praise of his glory, glory. Upon this rock, you build your, you build your church and the gates of Church, build your church, yeah. build your church, Woo. build it from the ground up. Where your church, build your church, build your church build from the ground, build from the ground up. Build your church, build your church, build your church, build your church, build it from the ground. Oh, build, build your church, church. build your church, build your church, build it from the ground up. Your build your church, build your church, build it from the ground up. It's your church, build your church, build your church, build it from the ground up. It's your church, build your church, build your church, build it from the ground up. Upon this rock, upon this rock, you build your church. Hey! 
your church. Build 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 it from the ground. For the last time. Oh, build your church. Build your church. We need you to build it from the ground. Build your church. Build your church. Jesus, build your church. Let us pray for the offering. Father, we thank you for the offering that has been collected in this house. We trust and believe that it will serve the purpose that is, it has been collected for. We thank you for your blessing, Lord, for each and every seed. We pray, God, that may you continue to provide to those who desire to give unto your church. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let everybody stand. Let's worship the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify you this morning. We uplift you. We exalt you. Sita ge kofana na we namtlanje sin. Come on, exalt His name this morning. Hallelujah. We place Your name. We give You all glory. All kingship and majesty belongs to You. Hallelujah. You are great, O God. You, you are seated on high on the throne. We worship You this morning. Yes, we do, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless Your holy name, O Jesus. Pecheli kona kune simanga ebu kone ni bake kune jabulo ikamala keli si pepe lo sam giyamazi umchengiwa. La pecheli konas, kune simanga, ebu kone ni bake, kune njabulo, gobi kamala, keli si pepe lo sam, giya mazi umchengi wam. La po la pecheli kona kune simanga yebu kone ni ba kune jabulo ika malake kesipepelo kesipepelo sa.
Well, greetings, church, in the name that is above all name, the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We want to thank the Lord for having given us another opportunity, you know, to learn how to fulfill and how we can fulfill His purpose on earth. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for an opportunity to live again. Thank you, God, for blessing us with a precious day. Hallelujah. How many of you know that every day means... You can start all over again. Many people know you can start all over again. Hallelujah. Well, um, happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Uh, may the wonderful God bless you. Amen. Uh, if you don't have a father, I'm here. You can see me after the service. If you want a hug, I will give you one. If you want a high five, if you want a car, whatever that you want, I'm here for you. Hallelujah. And again, Barcelona, we are blessed to have our dad, Mkulu, in our midst, a grandfather. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for being part of us this morning. We really appreciate you and we thank God for you. Hallelujah. Well. The Bible says wisdom is in the gray hair. Well, it's part of my message for today. <laughs> I'm saying it because I'm seeing it that day in our midst. Amen. Hallelujah. And, um, I, I, I have this conviction in my heart. And I think I need to tell you that black men, you are not cursed. Black men, you are not you are not cursed. 
you are blessed you are intelligent you are intelligent we have God's ability and capabilities upon your life there's so much of God in our life we shall not fail even this too shall pass we will go through whatever that the Lord wants us to go through for experience and knowledge and understanding for us to become better citizens of the Republic of South Africa. Are you with me, Neva Zalani? I, I have this conviction. We are born out of men and women of integrity, men and women of high stage, men and women of vision, you know? People who believe in achieving something in life. Doesn't matter what the, the devil and his mother-in-law are trying to do, but we shall win. I would mean Barcelona. I say we shall what Barcelona? We shall win. We shall win. We shall win. And some of us, we went through all the way we went through for experience purposes and for knowledge and understanding. Uzo bom kulonja no kokonja no ngazangu bene experience. Uzo ba kuzanja no uzo ba bonsa jo. I know what you're talking about. Been here before. I would mean Barcelona. We are a blessed nation. Bless nation. You know, as, uh, uh, these days as I'm thinking about the Mandelas, the Oliver Tambos, thinking about our old patriarchs, I know, as alone, we're not cursed. No, 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 we're not cursed. But men and m women of integrity who had vision, who wanted to achieve something in life, and who were fighting it towards, uh, for their generation, we are who we are today and what we are today, all because of their effort and their power, their wisdom. I would mean it was a lot. No, 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 no. There's a seed of excellence that is in us that the enemy, the devil, is trying with all his power to crush. I would mean it was a lot. He's working 24 hours. He's working 24 hours. He's fighting this good seed. He's fighting this excellence. He's fighting, Barcelona, that which was planted upon our lives. Are you with me, church? I mean, if, if, if we still have the Ayandas and, uh, and all of the Sites and uh, uh, the Palisa speak the way they speak and do what they do, all oh, the future is bright. All oh, the future is bright. Are you with me, Barcelona? Please help me. Help me ho have hope for the better future in this country. Yes, we're complaining. We know it's tough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mara, we are going to overcome one day. Going to overcome. Got the seat of excellence in us. Hallelujah. Are you with me at home? Are you with me at home? We have the seat of excellence in us. We're going to win. We're going to win. Nikon and Linen goes, never alone. One powerful dimension that the Lord has placed upon us is the church. The church. The church. When Tatu Mandela was on his way to his grave, he gave an instruction. Should I sleep? Sing this song for me. Lizali sitting alauk. It's a ministry. The preaching. Lizali sitting ala kongo siti ko wenyanis zonki zizwe zonki intlanga mazizuze usindiso loako amadolo kwelelizwe magakobe pambiguaku. Which means I'm nothing without you, God. There's a minister on his own. I would be with that. There's a seat of excellence in us. You turn the hunger tandem than us and as a car. I would mean church. Just goodness in doing and yes, that we need to work on the 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 jealous, the greed, the the witchcraft, you know, you know, all these things that we need to work on as a nation. That was many years ago. And and even our fathers conquered them. Nikon and Lingo was a lot. They conquered that, they conquered that. Hallelujah. People with jealous spirit, they also turned around. People who were pimpies, they also turned around. Are you with me, church? 
No, don't worry, don't worry. I I remember those years I was I was thinking about it, Maruti. When we used to have friends visiting us from Pretoria and Johannesburg, find that maybe they will come for a weekend, you know? And uh and you know, as young people thinking that we know better than in the, you know, knowing better than our parents. I don't know how to say this. I want to be very careful uh, not to give you um, something to hold on or something to capitalize on. So our friends will come, most probably from Jobek. They come from Jobek Friday, Saturday. Actually, they used to come Saturday most of the time. Saturday, Sunday morning. We tell them, Hey, Joe, nyabui. Oh, van to kanje. Even one friend of mine was like shocked one day. When he came and he said, Now I'm going with you to church. He was shocked to see young people. Young people. Because we had people, we have parents who believed in the future and instilled that kind of a discipline upon us. I'm here to tell you that the soul and the blood of those that died in 1976 in exile or wherever, it shall not be in vain. It shall not be in vain. It shall not be in vain. Not be in vain. I don't know why I'm here. Even the gospel itself was hijacked. I'm talking about the gospel that we are preaching. It was hijacked by others who made money out of it. Who used to take this young girl until Peter came across that. It was hijacked. They performed miracles through that young girl until Peter rebuked that spirit. Even among the 12 disciples, there was that one that hijacked the gospel. There are many. I mean, Paul even talking about some of them. He says, hey, be careful of uh, Apophidaras and be careful of so-and-so. They have turned their back on us. They are no longer preaching the same. It was hijacked everywhere. Was it was there. But what I like is that there's little that is written about them and there's so much that is written about the victorious people, about our heroes and heroines in the Bible. There's little in the Bible that you hear about them. But all what you hear about those who were victorious, all what you hear, it was those who overcame circumstances, difficult times. So, so, so I'm saying to you, even the blood of those who died, the effort of the Nelson Mandela, the Oliver Tambos, the Raymond Shabbos and the rest was a lot, shall not go in vain. Shall not go in vain. Wow. Hear it from me, Vazal. Nombu, so if you know what democracy was I yet, there are those that did their own calculations wherever they were and they realized, eh, now it's time to come in. Hey, hey. Are you with me, Vazal? And now they understand that they are powerless, they can't do anything. Then the sons and daughters that the Bible says, if in the way the, 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 the nature is awaiting for them, sit at where you are. Great minds. Hey. Great leaders, powerful men and women of the country, leaders of the future are seated in this ministry right now. Seated here right now. Seated here right now. Maranyang is on Maranine. Nicola Maralana. Ukulman, Shumaela, man, just the least prophet. Can't a prophet, Minayas, but you are prophet. This is prophecy. I'm saying it shall come to pass. So it shall come to pass. Amen, Bazal. I don't know why I went ahead of my sermon, but so I've preached part of it. Yeah, if you the least the little that I I have, we will finish it. Amen. Are you ready for the word? Yes. Genesis chapter 14, 14, 16, and 16 uh, to 16. Genesis chapter 14, verse 14 to 16, and Ephesians. Chapter 6, start reading from verse 10 to verse 20. Ephesians, can I have it? Ephesians, can I have it in uh, Amplified Classic? Ne? All right. 14, 14, 
King James Version. New King James Version. Right? Genesis 14, 14, 14 to 16. Then um, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 16. And I, can I have it in an amplified classic? Genesis, right. Genesis 14, yes. 14 to 16. Yeah. Mm. Now when Abraham heard that his brother was taken captive, yeah. he armed his 318 trained servants mm. who were born in his own house yeah. and went in pursuit as far as then. Come on. He divided his forces against them by night Aye, my goodness. and he and his servants attacked them and pursued them as far as Hoba, mm -hmm. which is north of Damascus. Yeah. So he brought back all the goods mm. and also brought back his brother Lord mm. and mm. his goods as well as the women and the people. Again, 14 to 16, again for the last time. Now when Abram heard yeah. that his brother was taken captive, captive, eh? He armed his 318 trained servants, trained servants eh? who were born in his own house. Born in his own house, eh? And went in pursuit as far as then. And went in pursuit. He divided his forces against them by mm -hmm. night and he pursued them as far as Hobah. Oh, yeah. Which is not of Damascus. Come on. So he brought back all the goods. Yeah. And also brought back his brother Lord yeah. and his goods as well as the women and the people. Mm. Right, Ephesians. Right, Ephesians chapter six. It's, it's all known scripture. We know it all. Uh, six, starting from verse ten eh? to verse. Okay, I said nineteen, uh, twenty. Oh, twenty years. I said twenty. Twenty. Mm. I'm not sure if my version is the classic one. But amplified, amplified classic. Yeah, no, it's okay. fine. Let's go. Ephesians 6.10. Yeah. In conclusion, yeah. be strong in the Lord. Come on. Be empowered through your union with him. Yeah. Draw your strength from him. Mm. That strength which his boundless might provide. Verse 10. Verse 10. Mm. Verse 10. Verse 10. In conclusion, yeah. be strong in the Lord. Come on. Be empowered through your union with him. Yeah. Draw your strength from him. Oh, come on, man. That strength which mm. his boundless might, might provides. Yeah. Put uh, on God's whole armor. I want us to go to verse 10. That, that, that part, that okay. says the strength. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Is, is boundless. Is boundless yes. That that one, that's where the nyama is. Verse yeah. ten again. In conclusion, mm. be strong in the Lord. Yeah, Bob. Be empowered through your union with Him. Yeah, Bob. Draw your strength from Him. Mm. That strength yeah. which His boundless might provides. provides. Mm. Jesus. Mm. All right. Put on God's whole armor, yeah, huh? the armor of a heavy armed soldier, soldier which God supplies, mm. my God, that you may be able mm. successfully mm. to stand up against all the mm. strategies mm. and the deceit of mm. the devil. Mm. That, 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 that will make you successfully Jesus. stand, My successfully God. do what was Alani. Sure. Hey, sure. Hmm, devil, you're in trouble with your mother-in-law. Mm. Yeah, come on. For we are not wrestling with flesh and blood. Hey. We are not contending only with physical opponents. opponents yeah. But against the despotism. Yes. Against the powers. Yeah. Against the master spirits who are with the world. Yeah. Rulers of this present uh, darkness. Mm. Against the spirit forces of wickedness. Mm. In the heavenly supernatural sphere. Yeah. <laughs> Therefore. Yeah. Put on God's complete armor. Now go to these dimensions. Mm. Right? Let's go. Yeah. That you may be able to resist mm. 
and stand your ground yeah. on the evil day, <laughs> the day of danger. Yeah. And having done all the crisis demands, yes. To stand, yeah. Family in your place. All right. Stand therefore. therefore. Mm. Hold, Hold your, your ground. ground. I now. Heaven tightened the belt of truth. The belt of truth. And having shot your feet in preparation mm. to face the enemy with the firm footed stability. Uh, let's, go, let's go to 14 again. 14, 14 again. Yeah, 14 again. Stand. Stand, therefore. therefore. Yeah. Hold your ground. Mm. Having tightened the belt of faith. Yeah. The, the, where is that thing? That part is not on my Bible. No, it's fine. It's the same. It's the same. <laughs> Sure, 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 sure. Li, 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 mola, li, mola, kuruman, kuruman. Namun, li, mola, as we are reading, post, uh, you know, so that the people can capture as well and hear the person, okay. see the person. Oh, oh, sorry, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Stand, therefore. Yeah. Hold your ground. Yeah. Having tightened the belt of truth okay. around your loins. Yeah. And having put on the breastplate of integrity yeah. and of moral rectitude mm. and right standing with God. Come on. And having shot your feet in preparation yeah. to face the enemy with the firm footed stability. Come on, man. The promptness and Aye. the readiness Aye. produced by the good Aye. news Aye. of the gospel of peace. Yeah. Lift up over all, all the, the covering time. shield of saving faith upon which we can quench all the flaming, flaming missiles of the, the wicked, wicked one. one. And take the helmet of salvation. Yes. And the sword that the spirit wills, mm. which is the word of God. Yeah, bro. Pray at yeah. all times. Nayor. On every occasion. Yeah. In every season. Yeah. In the spirit. Yeah. With all manner of prayer. Yeah. And entity. Yeah. To that end, mm. keep alert mm. and watch with strong purpose mm. and perseverance. <laughs> interceding in behalf of all the saints, God's consecrated people. people. Verse 18, man. Hey. <laughs> Pray yeah. at all times. But one more time. Pray. Yeah. Bazalwane. Pray yeah, at bro. all times. And where? And where? On every occasion. Mm. In every season. Mm. In the spirit. Mm. With all manner of prayer and entity. Yeah, Pastor Glenn, pray for uh, verse 18. Verse, Pastor Glenn, pray for them. No. Verse 18. Verse no. Pastor Glenn, pray for them. No, it, pray yeah. at all times. Come on. On every occasion. Ay. In every season, mm. in the spirit, <laughs> with all manner of prayer Come and on, entity. Man. Come on. To that end, keep alert. And watch with strong purpose yeah. and perseverance, yeah. Gezela, interceding mm. in behalf of all the saints. Yeah. That's God's all consecrated, consecrated people. people. Yeah. And pray also for me Please, that freedom mm. of all utterances may be given, may be given me, mm. that I may open my mouth to proclaim boldly the mastery. Of the, the mystery, good news, the, the mystery mm. of the good news, the gospel. Verse 19, verse 19. And pray also for me. So, so that when I speak the word of God, you shouldn't be shocked. No, 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 not, yes. no, not hurt. Mm. Offended, I'm looking for oh, So yes. that you cannot be offended. Right. With all utterances. Yeah. Sure. So, so, so pray for me. Mm. And the more you pray for me to speak the word. Yes. It will help you to receive the word with boldness and without any fear and without any interference of the enemy's whispering. All right? Pray for me. And pray also, also for, for me. me. Yes. That freedom of utterance mm. may be given me. It's, all, it's only, it's only Barcelona in, 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 in our churches where we count words now. Because I can't say this, I can't say that. 
But at the end of the day, I had the Holy Spirit say, but I can't say this. There are so many contradictions that are in the house of the Lord these days. You know, I don't, I don't want to speak what my wife says. I want to hear what the Holy Spirit says. But there are words must I count. Even when the Holy Spirit compelled me to say certain things. No, I can't say this. Ish. So and so will be offended. Ish. So and so. Ish. Now, how would, you know, this one, how is it going to feed? Hey, well, well, well. So we, we, we are about nursing feelings in the house of the Lord. We are no longer soldiers in the army that God has built. We are no longer, we, we want to act as if we're people who are not born in this house. Who don't know the language of the house, who don't have the vision of the house, who don't understand the mind of the father, who don't know where the father is taking us, who don't, who, as if we don't know what is it that the father has done for us to be here before. Oh, okay. Am I not preaching to people now? And the more we are trying to, you know, Barcelona, to top toe around the word of God and around people's feeling, the more the church of God is not effective. Every time when we want to tip to Barcelona, up around certain things, I can't say this to those because most probably they are powerful titles. I can't say this to those because they are givers. I can't say, Barcelona, Barcelona, are you giving for who? Are you taking for who? Listen, church, we have put ourselves under pressure. As the charismatic church, by the type of sermons and, and messages that we have preached, and now if those things are no longer happening, Barcelona, now we want to go into the world and study the systems and study the tactics of the world on how they do things so that we can come and implement them in the house of the Lord. Because we have put ourselves under pressure. We have said certain things. We have competed the worst in on the pulpit. We, we, we pray for people to prosper, for God to take them to greater places, businessmen, or God to open doors. And therefore, then we start competing with those that we have prayed for. We start competing with them. No, no, no. I'm not against prosperity and success. No, no, no. Prosperity is our nature. In fact, these are not things that we cannot, we're supposed not to preach about. They're supposed to be seen. They're supposed to be fruits. Prosperity must be a fruit from the church of the living God. Then we preach about going to heaven. Then we preach about looking after ourselves. And then we preach about taking good care of our minds, our, ma our mouth. Then we preach about becoming the true soldiers of the kingdom of our God. Because we're successful by nature. No, we're successful by nature. Mm. Money doesn't belong to the enemy, it belongs to our God. Silver and gold is ours. I was, I was studying, I was looking at the, the dress code of of the high priest. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I was looking at how God designed a dress coat of a high priest. Every material was not of a low class, Baba. Every material was of a great standard. Quality in Duang. You don't have to preach about how should I dress. It has been designed. I want to tell you about how to go to heaven. How you should behave as a child of God. Come on. Hey. The Holy Spirit just messed up my... Mm. And I pray also... Come on. Hey. It's a good word. We're going to have a good time. I can already sense that the presence of the Lord is here. Look, 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 look. We came to church, Barcelona, to be empowered. We came to church to be pruned. To be pruned is not a good thing. We came to church to be circumcised. 
circumcise our hearts, our characters, circumcise our being, our statues, so that we can become the good soldiers of the kingdom of our God, representing God in the truth of who he is, and not find the findings. Oh, Nikona was a and pray for me also yeah. that freedom of utterance mm. may be given me mm. that I may open my, my mouth, mouth to, proclaim. to proclaim boldly, boldly. Hey, come on. the mystery mm. of the good news, the gospel. Verse 20. For which I am an ambassador in, in a coupling chain in prison. Mm. Pray that I may declare it boldly and courageously as I ought to do, my God. Hallelujah. I'm talking to you about protecting a generational prophetic legacy. Protecting a generational prophetic legacy. I'm, 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 really, I'm, really, I'm really grateful to God to be part of this generation. That has been entrusted with responsibility to continue to build the church of the living God for the next generation. Maybe me and you are going to be counted as well among the men. As we quote Paul, I trust and believe that you will be counted as well. May you be in the position to see that as you stand here, you are not standing for now, but you are standing for the generation to come. We don't quote Bazalwan about Dr. Bishop Esrom Zulu, Mahala, and all the, the Msibi, the Tununus, because these are the people, church, who were given an opportunity to build for the next generation. And I'm also, Bazalwan, grateful to God who have been entrusted, to, to entrusted me with this generation, at this generation, becoming a generation that is going to build for the next generation. Look, Barcelona, if we're not going to be tough enough as a church today, under the circumstances, under this weather, you know, under this weather, where the enemy, Barcelona, has come in full place, attacking the church, attacking God's people. If we're not going to be tough, then we're going to fail the next generation. We're going to fail the next generation. Yes, I understand and I know that we are living in days, Barcelona, of technology and we'll keep on advancing in years and so on. But we should not forget that it's the same yesterday. The same gospel that was preached, Barcelona, by Moses was preached, Barcelona, by all the patriarchs of the kingdom. We must continue to preach the same gospel so that it can sustain us as a church and become a powerful church now for the next generation. Build a church, a generation that is prayerful. Build a generation that is of faith. Build a generation that lives in dimension, no longer in levels. These days I don't get enough amens. I don't know whether. I'm not preaching well. <laughs> the church is a role model of the world. Not the world becoming the role model of the church. I said the church is a role model of the world. The church Barcelona is rich in wisdom. The church is rich, is rich in understanding. The church Barcelona is rich in knowledge. In knowledge. Listen, church. I have been challenged and I and I allowed God to minister to my spirit and to take me back and hear elderly people speak. People, elderly people who speak from the church view and those Barcelona who speak from the world point of view. The wisdom is not the same. I said the wisdom is not the same. When the same wisdom is on the gray hair, Barcelona, it's not the say that comes from the world, it's the say that comes from the word of God. It was not somebody who wrote a book and want to tell us about the wisdom that is on the gray hair. It was Jesus Christ, it was God who prophetically spoke to us that if we want wisdom, we must go to a gray hair. I've seen people who grew up to the church, Barcelona, who are gray that who spend their lives in church. The wisdom, their words, their Barcelona, their intelligence, everything that they speak, and the people, old people who have never been to church, who have never modeled by the church, they are thinking and what they talk Barcelona, is disgraceful oh I'm telling you I'm telling you oh oh look 
churches, no church, it's, 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 it's not a secular say that says wisdom is on the gray hair. It's not a secular say. It's in the word of God. If you want wisdom, go to those that Barcelona have been ahead of you with life, who've been in the house of the Lord, who've been, who had an experience with God, who had an encounter with God. Are you with me, Barcelona? Yeah. One day we attended the funeral. I think we, we, we were at the Libala, and one of uh, Ramchulus, one day, and very strong. And I think in those, those years he was 80. Oh, oh, uh, 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 first bro, first born brother. So he's, he's running. I think he was around about 80, 84 by that time, if I'm not mistaken. And he is he's running. And he's passing me and Mama as we are, as, as we are walking towards the house. And then Mama said to her, Ramukhulu. You are still strong and you are running. What is the secret? He said, what is the secret? Then he answered in Tswana. <laughs> he said, Rera mao li li papao. Oh, tuta rao li papao, li mao. Rao li mao. Yeah, so he answered in Tswana, which means honor your mother and your father. And you can tell that this is a man who grew up in the house of the Lord. He's got he's strong and ready for, and he's still running the way he was running because his life was in the church. People at the same age who are in the world, we have to pick them up as they stand. Same age. Because Kuna Zinto, Kuna Zindeba is Balima Zil. In that age. So when he answers, he did not say, uh, you know, uh, uh, according to. But he quoted the word of God. Wisdom. He says, I'm giving you wisdom. For you to come where I am. For you to reach the age where I am. He says, respect your mother and your father. But Salon, he gives you, he gives you wisdom. He gives you an understanding that you don't just reach that age. Yeah. Oh, I wish I'm preaching. I wish I'm preaching. The church is rich in wisdom. That's why the Bible says the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. Yeah. Not because God is a ho ho. Not because God Barcelona, is, against every, is against us, but the, 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 the beginning of wisdom is an understanding on how God operates in this world. We need to acquire wisdom so that we can maintain a beautiful and a wonderful, good, excellent relationship with God. Look, Barcelona, look, Barcelona. No, you are responsible for every fault that you are going through. You are responsible. Don't tell me so and so influence me. You are responsible. Amen. You are responsible. Mm. Yeah. We are responsible, Bazan. The church, I mean, the church lacks nothing. The church of the living God lacks nothing. Yeah. If you want money, it's in the church. Yeah. If you want good life, it's in the church. If you want peace, it's in the church. In fact, in fact, in fact, the Apostle Paul even teaches us and tells us about the fruits of the Spirit. Yeah. Which if you acquire those things, they will help you with your well-being. Yeah. They will build your life. They will build you as a child of God. They will build in all spheres of Look, so what benefits you come into the house of the Lord and live the same? What benefits you coming into the house of the Lord and live the same, Mr. Lord? What benefits you come into the house of let's, let's, for the past two weeks we were talking about how everything that is counterproductive in your life comes from Barcelona, the demonic machine. You know, it comes from a demonic system and, and all the People can't even capture this in this Sunday. They're still not here. I, I say they're not here. They heard it the first time. Go to, oh, I'm late. So, no, 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 no. It's not. It's a culture that comes from the demonic system. I don't know who I was talking. Oh, Ben Kuruman on Mama Bus on Sunday. Uh, oh, no, no. When, when was the funeral Thursday? You know, 
I don't know what is this comfort date comes from because my father was never late. I don't know where does it come from. I don't know where does it come from when they speak about kafir day. African time, African time. Where, where, where does that come from? Because those people, they were never late. Even they, when they had to walk or, 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 or ride a bicycle for miles, they were still never late. They were still never late. I said they were still never late. Oh, am I talking to some people here? Yeah, ne? Yeah. So, 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 the, the church lacks nothing. The, I said the church of the living God lacks nothing. You don't need any model from the world. You don't need any understanding from the world. You don't need any wisdom from the world. You don't need any knowledge from the world. If you want it, come into the house of the Lord. Come and go into the book of, uh, of the books and you will find knowledge, wisdom and understanding. Because there is no book that is beyond this type of a book. Everybody who writes a book, Basalwane, every source comes from here. Comes from here. I said it comes from here. That's, this is the greatest influence of them all. If you want to know about leadership, Basalwane, get a book on leadership and a man who's influenced by this source. A man who's influenced by this source. And Paul is saying, Barcelona, mysteries that were hidden from past ages and generation have now been manifested to these ones. What are the mysteries that have been hidden for generations? What are now they've manifested? So there's nothing that is hidden anymore. There, there are no mysteries that are, are hidden anymore. They are now manifested into this generation. I'm talking to the generation that God trusts. I'm talking to the generation that God hope, that God has put his hope on. I'm talking to the generation that God believes in. I'm talking to the generation that was alone. God knows that as long as you are here, seated where you are, there's a future of this world. There's a future of this church. There's a future of business. Business. There's a future where every sphere of life, God knows that the future is brighter and bright. As long as you are here, as long as you are here, I said, as long as you are seated there, God has hope. No matter what the enemy may try to do, as long as you fight to be where you belong, Barcelona, the church of the living God, God knows that there's hope in the world. There's hope in the world. There's another church. There's another generation. There will be other doctors. There will be other lawyers. There will be other academics. There will be other people that will be of fear of influence. There will be other intercessors. There will be other preachers of the gospel. There will be other apostles. There will be other pastors. There will be other evangelists. There will be as long as me and you are here at church because we contain the mysteries of the kingdom. We understand how the world, we understand how to live in this world. We understand how to fulfill the purposes of God in this world. We are the one that has the mysteries. I said, we are the one that has the mysteries. We understand the mysteries of the kingdom. Woo! We know how to deal with a demonic machine. We know Barcelona how to counter Barcelona Nikonana, every missile that has been directed to us. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I've never had my father when I went for an advice and then I said to him, Dad, you know, I'm going through what I'm going through. I never said, he said, no, take an axe and go and chop their heads. But all what I will hear him say, Tandaza, man, keep on praying, man, keep on praying, man. Nothing defeats prayer, man. Keep on. Am I talking to some people here? Woo! Woo! Oh God. Yeah, he's my father in my brother's house and my brother's children, some of them are married with Muslims. And here is my father, we are about to leave the house. And then my father will gather us together and say, come, let's pray. He will pray whether there are Muslims there or they are not, but he will do what he knows better for himself. Oh 
Maran Konani Nana. As long as me and you here. As long as there's me and you here. God has hope for the church. This is the generation that needs to cut off excuses. This is the generation that will take the kingdom of God with by force. This is the generation that needs to stand against all odds. This is the generation that needs to preach the gospel. I said, this is the generation that needs to occupy until Jesus Christ comes. Wherever God has called you to be, if he has called you to preach, come preach with us. If he has called you to be in business, go influence that sphere. If he, oh my goodness. Woo! We are going to do everything in our power to protect this prophetic legacy. Oh, come on, church. People die prophesying. People die, church. Uh, are you talking to me? Am, am I talking to some people here? I said, people die prophesying. Jesus Christ died preaching. Hanging on the cross. Say, Father, forgive them, for they don't know not what they are doing. Am I talking to some people here, church? If God has called you to be a politician, can you please go and be a politician? A politician that is anointed, a politician that is influenced by the kingdom of our God, a politician that learns from God, a, prof a, a, a politician that prophesies into the future, a politician that sees into the future. Uh, am I talking to some people here? Oh my God, oh my God. Hey, the church lacks nothing. In fact, this generation have a better understanding. This generation have a better knowledge. It is worse with us in this house. Worse with us in this house. Can't sit under such a powerful message and then your life remains the same. Then you don't pick up your game. Then you don't stand and lift up your standard. Don't you become the best of what God is intending you to be. Am I talking to some people here, church? Woo! Yes, pains have a tendency, church, to make us think negatively. Pains have a tendency, church, to talk negatively. But there's a God who lives in the inside of us. There's a Christ who lives in the inside of us, who always resuscitates us, who always gives us new strength, who always empowers us to grow, who always makes us good, say good things. Am I talking to some people? Though I may be down, but I'm standing up. I say, no, no, I may be down, but I'm standing up. You know why I'm standing up? Because I don't belong there. I don't know that in the environment. Oh, come on. I said you don't belong there. Ramagodokos Kalamaya. Church is the hope in this generation. I'm telling you, Basaban. I said church is the hope in this generation. I look at all the people who grew up going to church where we felt even our mothers and our fathers are being unfair to us. <laughs> going to church even when I never wanted to. Yeah, and my brother Jeffrey will assist them. When they say, hey, wake up, wake up, it's time to go to church. And I say, oh, I say, he sleeps and I went and I go to church. But his life was alone. He, he was in the stage. I was in the stage where he was as well. Look today, Barcelona. The Bible says, teach a child in the way that when he grows up. Oh, come on. The enemy might spit in my eyes, but it will be temporarily because I will clean them so I can see again. Uh, you don't hear what I'm saying. I said, the enemy may spit in my eyes. I will clean them so I can see again. He might try to press me down, but I'm telling you that I will fight until I stand up. My God, my God, my God. There's a generation that is waiting for us and its responsibility is upon me. I said, there's a new church that is coming. There's a church in the future and I am responsible for that church. There's a prophet that is coming in the future. He most probably is in the Sunday school. Most probably is in the children's church. I am responsible for that prophet. You are responsible. I said, you are responsible. You are responsible for that prophet. I said, you are responsible for that prophet. Oh. 
And why do you have policies? You have policies because you are responsible for the next generation. Should anything happen to me, I know that my children will continue. I know that my house will stand. I know that my children... Come on, that's the reason you have a policy. And there's a better policy that has been entrusted in us. That the next generation is upon our shoulders. It's upon our shoulders. There must come a time where we say, enough is enough, devil. Yeah, we've done it, it's enough. Now it's time to prepare for the next generation. Now it's time to fight for the next generation. Because the future of this coming church is upon my shoulders. It's upon my shoulders. Hmm. I'm not corner now. Hey. God has a purpose about our lives. God has a purpose about this church. I said, God has a purpose about his church. And his church is not going to die. Jesus Christ saw it before the foundations of the earth. Whatever the enemy tried, whatever the enemy church tried to destroy the church, God will always be there to protect it so that it can stand again. In the Eden of Eden, Barcelona, when he tried to destroy man, God came to rescue because he knew that there was a future. He knew that there was a me and a you who have to be seated where we are today. Oh. oh, Jesus, Bambe tell us Pambanueni that cross was not about Jesus, but the cross was about me and you seated where we are today. The cross was about the businessmen in this church. The cross was about the pastor that is going to be born in this church. The cross was about the prophet that needs to be born in this church. When we see Jesus hanging on the cross, God saw Faith Tabernacle. When Jesus Christ was hanging on the cross, God saw Glenn preaching, standing on the pulpit. When, 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 when we saw the cross, uh, Lindy Mukela was coming on the way. God, you church, and if I have Glenn, I have Lindy. I have, my goodness, Maran Corner in Alana. All right, yeah, okay. The blessing of the Lord is upon you. Yeah. Prosperity and success is with you. Maybe you'll give me a better amen. There are no celebrities in the kingdom of God. Celebrity is a system of the world that I exalt a person beyond his ability and capability. I said there are no celebrities in the house of the Lord. You've got sons who take over all the time. Who, when they are there, their presence is felt. When they are in business, their presence is felt. Am I talking to some people here? Celebrate it today, tomorrow, something else. And that's not what the purpose of God is about. We don't have to put ourselves under pressure. No. There's a generation in Faith Tabernacle. Seated right now and looking upon me. Looking at me. And Jesus Christ says this is the church that will build the church. This is the church that will sustain the next generation. These are the people that are going to build for the next generation. These are the people that are going to make my name known among many other nations. In some many, many years ago, there are those that were in the quiver that God already had a good plan about them. There are those churches that are going to be planted in the seed. Know that Jesus Christ has a purpose about them. There's a powerful business that needs to come through here. And we need businessmen and women church who are born out of this house, who are going to stand powerfully, who are going to be bold to represent the kingdom of our God. You don't even want to accept this because you know that your hearts are somewhere else. It's not about you shining, shame. It's about God shining through me. I said it's about God shining through me. It's about God making a spectacular through me. It's about God giving me peace. It's about God driving me in peace, sleep in peace. Am I talking to some people here? When Abraham heard that the enemy has taken over his captive, 
when Abraham heard that the enemy, the devil, has come for what belongs to him, the Bible says he did not sit. The Bible says he did not fold his arms. He said there were men born in his house who understood his language and the vision, who knew where their father was taking them, who knew where their father was coming from. And he said, I'm looking for my sons and daughters whom that I will go into the enemy, where I will fight the enemy, the devil, where I will destroy my Mahosai. Woo! Hey! 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 I said when you hear that the devil the enemy wants to take hold of what belongs to you wants to take captive on what belongs to you we fasted for what you have people died for the gospel that you have when we hear that the enemy is coming get up as a church I'm your man build up your army and say we will attack the devil and when we go to the enemy's camp we don't go well to greet only, but we go to fight the enemy, the devil, and take what belongs to us and bring it back home. Whatever the enemy has taken, whatever the enemy has stolen, whatever the enemy has taken captive, it does not belong to him. It belongs to us. It comes from our father's household. He is my uncle's son. He is my brother's daughter. It is mine. It belongs to me. This business is ours. We're not going to be dictated by how the world should operate. We have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that the Lord has entrusted in us. Therefore, we want men who are going to be turned into an army. Those people who must walk as soldiers, who take command when they are told to run, they must run when they are told to sit they must sit they must be soldiers because soldiers don't do as they please soldiers don't live anyhow they live by the master they work they wait for a word that comes from the commander they wait for the instruction that the commander will give them when they say it's time to shoot they don't ask questions they shoot Hey! Mm. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. Ah, ha. <coughs> Excuse me. The Bible says these men were born in his house. Except they were born in his house. Abraham was certain of the future. Abraham was certain that the vision is going to continue because these men were born in his house. They understood his word. They understood the elder gestures. They understood when he had a certain look, what is he saying? When he had a certain way of talking, they understood him very well. And they said, hey, we are going to fight. The kingdom of God suffered violent, and only the violent that will take it by force. Am I taking to some people here, church? Mm. They were born in his house. I said they were born in his house. These men were exactly like what Paul is saying in the book of Ephesians. Mm. they were strong as their father is strong they were powerful as their father is powerful that's why the bible says finally be strong where church in the lord be strong where church in the lord and in the power of his mind because you are an army of god I said, you are an army of God. I said, you are an army of God. And now that you are a soldier, 
There is no way where you cannot be attacked. There is no way, church, where the enemy cannot plan against you. There is no way. You will be attacked coming right from a threshing floor. You will be attacked coming right from the word of God. Immense feel with the word of God. You will be attacked speaking in tongues. You will be attacked. I said you will be attacked. Hey, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about you. Mm. While you are busy, Marla Gadokos, Kalabadante, the enemy on the other side, he says, as we as he finishes, this is the way that we need to attack. Close that door. Close that door. Close that opening. Close that opening. Demonic machine. Oh, my God, Dokas Kalamai. The only thing that the enemy never wins all the time. I said, the only thing that he never wins all the time. He may try to attack, but he never wins all the time. Am I talking to some people in your church? Never wins. Never wins. That's a problem over the way. And the Bible says, put on the full armor that you may be able to stand. The issue is about standing. Similenje siya kolwa kungenga ya po Jesu simile mire simi enje o siya kolwa yebogu simile simile simi enje o siya kolwa yebogu kungenga ya po Jesu simile simi Similarity, when the enemy thought he's finished with Samson when the enemy thought he's finished with Samson on the other side the Lord was fulfilling the plan on the other side God was pumping up the plan they were busy dancing they are busy laughing they think you're not gonna go anywhere they think they've caught you they think they are capturing you they don't know that God on the other side I said God on the other side God on the other side is orchestrating the plan to fulfill the purpose. Hallelujah. You shall not die without fulfilling his purpose. You shall not go to rest without fighting. You are the soldier born in the house. You are the soldier anointed in the house. You are a soldier. He says those people were trained. They did not just speak any how they were trained. They were trained economically how to influence, how to infiltrate the economic sphere. They were trained, church. 
they were trained on how to influence yeah. spiritually. Yeah. They were trained. Yes. Trained. I said they were trained. You will never stand if you are not trained. Yeah. You will never stand. They were trained and they were turned into an army. So during their training, self died. But the spirit of being a soldier crept in. Even when they never wanted to woke up in the morning. But when the instruction says it's, it's oh, oh my goodness. But when the instruction says it is time. Simirenge, Siakona, Lebo, Gemaya, Coche, Simila, Similebo, Similenge, Lebo, Siakona, Gemaya, Coche, Simila, Similebo, Similenge, Lebo, Siakona, Alala, Gemaya, Coche, Gemaya, Coche, It doesn't matter whether the enemy is firing missiles towards you, church. Whether there are thousands and thousands of bullets that are coming towards you. Yeah. As long the commander has not said retreat, yeah. no one yeah. retreats. The soldier, look all means. If his gun has run out of bullets, he looks for another one. Woo. And when the enemy, when, 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 when the commander says, retreat, yeah. they don't just turn their back. Hey. They retreat, shooting church, hey. going for, oh, you don't hear. Hey, hear. They are retreating church. They are not retreating because they are defeated. They are retreating because they are going to strategize. Hey. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Oh, oh, oh. You're coming back again. You are 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 coming back. You are coming back. You are coming back. Hallelujah. You are coming back again. I said you are coming back again. The enemy will be shocked. You won't even know. What is it that hit me? Oh. What happened to them? The next generation, the success, the future, wisdom and intelligence of this generation that is here yeah. is right upon your shoulders. On your shoulders. Doesn't matter what the enemy does, Maras Mandlanga As long as you win, go corner me. The enemy shall not win. I said the enemy shall not win. Niko anana. The 
This life is not about you. These millions, I know you will enjoy them, I know. Mara, they are not about you. It's about the generation that is coming here. Yeah. When you park your Bugatti there, and they say, oh, Sunny, and they start in their mind to look into this and say, it has parked in my church. And this is the lady that is driving this Bugatti. And this is the lady that reads the Bible for the pastor. So in other words, our God is a faithful God. Our God is a true God. Okay. If she drives it, I can drive it. Because she's doing it for the Lord. Come on, church. I said the future. When they ask you, how did you see it? You said, I saw myself. Prophecy prevails. I saw myself. And they say, when I say, when I was your age, I saw myself. Come on, church. When a prophecy, when I was your age, I saw myself. Preaching. When I was your age. So, in other words, I declare the prophecy about where I am today. A prophecy. So myself. And I want to encourage you today. Being born again is true and real. Being a child of God is true and real. Emma Bill, Emma Bill, Emma Bill. Emma Bill. The demons are busy. As we're talking right now, they're busy orchestrating something. That, 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 that's not an issue. That's not an issue. Yeah. An issue is that I'm a soldier. Yes. Yes. I'm a soldier. Yeah. Plan whatever that you plan. I'm trained. I'm born in the house. Born in the house. You say, look, you're not going to be up now. And David is not going to cry for you. Powerful soldier as you were. Having won so many battles, Abna. Having led the army so well. And now you died like a fool. Having fought the way we fought. There's a generation. There's a generation. That is looking up to us. They might not understand now when you shout. They might not understand now as you stand. Folding up your arms. They might not understand church. But all what I know is that prophetically it is registering. And one day your picture will come. Hey! Hey! Oh my God. We are living in the beautiful days and beautiful times. Oh, I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Oh, every hour.
Thank you, Lord, for refreshing our souls. Thank you for refreshing us, oh God. For the prophetic legacy and the ministry that you've been entrusted in us. Your church, your people. No, no, no. Woo! Shebrada. You are revived. You are refreshed. That's your reset party. Great and mighty things are happening, Lord. My God, my God, my God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank 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 you, Jesus. Thank Father, we thank you and I appreciate you for this beautiful time and hour that you have given to us. Thank you, God, for blessing us with more of you. Thank you, Lord, for showering us with greater blessings. Thank you, God, for the rejuvenation and the revival that you have placed upon us. In Jesus' name of Nazareth, I pray. And the Church of the Living God say, Amen. 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 Come on, give him the praise. Hallelujah. Glory, give him hallelujah. the praise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Yes, are. I said, are you blessed? Amen. Are you revived? Hallelujah. Are you renewed? Yes, Jesus. May the wonderful God continue to bless you. And may you continue to experience his blessings. Hallelujah. Oh, Right, let us just take a Thanksgiving offering quickly. Then we. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, similenje. Kola. Kungenaya. Kojesu. Oh, similenje. Siakola. Silence, see a cola, who gave my yako chess, who gave my yako chess, who 